Which shoe should I wear today? Going with the Vans today. Can't flex on them every day. Right, Stella? What's up, cool guy? What's up, other cool guy? <laughs> the light, you know what I'm saying? Oh, 97s! I like the fit, bro. They gonna remember the name. What does it take to achieve greatness? To achieve greatness, to achieve greatness, you have to think outside the box. You have to find your own niche. You can't follow what people do. Follow what people do, you're not going to achieve greatness. You're going to be mundane, you're going to be like everybody else. But to achieve greatness, you have to set a goal and go after it 150% with everything you got. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Ooh, that's good advice. Free samples. Thank you so much. These are shots. <laughs> um, definitely stressed out about the office and the move and all that, but... I've been so scared, like I can't make like real moves, you know. I mean, I'm scared too. The decisions you make are pretty damn scary, but I'm really not scared of what we can do. This is like compared to like back in the day when you had nothing and I had nothing and we had to go to like getting those corporate jobs and eating shit and peanut butter jelly sandwiches. You know, I think that's what scares me the most is that um, we have so much to lose now. You know. So it's like our life is really good, so it would have been really easy to just maintain what we have. But to make it to the next level, I have to risk everything that we that we gain now to make it to that next level. So I've been scared as fuck. Remember, you dropped everything that you had in Vegas and you doubled it to 40k. I don't understand, you know, I feel like you have like this like sixth sense of, you know, understanding the business mode because you know each and every individual in our office, you know, our skill set, you know, we're able to, and I don't think you just made this decision like really, really. I feel like you really, really contemplated all the factors, all the tools and assets you have, all the people around you, their skills and assets, and you feel like you can do this. I believe in you, I believe in us. I feel like, although I'm scared, I, I'll jump blindfolded and I know I'm gonna come out on top. Yeah, no, I mean, I just have to have confidence in myself that I'm gonna make the right move. If I don't, just, hey, at least we tried, and if we fail, then we just gotta start from the beginning again, yeah. you know? Never give up. Never, ever give up. I think it's scarier now because back then it was just me, right? But now it's you. So, I'm not just risking like what I achieved. I'm what you would too, so. Well, I want you to rest assured a little bit because, like, I was young, so all this money that I made, if you didn't teach me how to save it, if you didn't constantly warn me that there's, there's gonna come a time when shit's gonna be the pay or we're gonna make a risky move or, you know, some shit happens, if you didn't teach me all that, I would've never been scared. I've been scared since the beginning. It's not like this fear started now because, like, I've been scared the whole way. So, I've been collecting the wealth that, you know, I was able to get because of your teaching, because of our hard work, and I'm not scared. Don't be worried about me. You, you made a monster, and I want you to worry about the firm, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. I mean, I made the move, so our firm is gonna, you know, make some big moves, some major changes, our office, all of that, so we shall see. Kim La's new office. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm so excited. I want to go down in history as the greatest to ever do it. You know, I want to be known as the greatest attorney to ever live. Uh, I recognize how ridiculous that sounds because there's so many great attorneys now, you know, in my city, let alone the entire world. Uh, but I have faith in myself. I have faith in my skill set, my style, that I'll be able to eventually work a case better than anyone else. Um, I, I also realize how other people are going to perceive statements like this. Uh, they're going to think you know, that it's condescending, uh, especially because I haven't actually achieved anything yet. You know, it's kind of like Dennis Schroeder saying, like, I'm going to be like Michael Jordan. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? How the hell are you going to be like Michael Jordan? Uh, the thing is, I don't, I don't strive for greatness. You know, the, my personal goals and ambitions, uh, they don't revolve around what other people think or the respect of others. I do it for myself. 
You know, I understand that I have this unique opportunity called life. You know, it's very short. So while I'm here on Earth, I want to make the best of it. I want to reach the pinnacle of what I do. I mean, what's the point otherwise? You know, I want to. I want to leave behind something, a legacy. I want to have made a difference. And to do that, you have to be the greatest at what you do. You know, I look at my heroes, and I understand that my heroes have achieved greatness, and I understand that it was difficult, and I understand that it's not easy to do. But when I see it, I don't think, well, man, that's just, that's just not possible. That's just, that's just too hard. That's just not me. I don't think of it like that. I think if they can do it, I can do it. Kanye bleeds just like me. Steve Jobs put his socks on one at a time, just like me. Jordan, Zuckerberg, whoever, and all those people that have just become the greatest at what they do. You know, at the end of the day, they're just human beings. And if they can reach that pinnacle as a person, starting from the bottom and getting there, and I feel like I can too. And if I didn't, then it just means that I didn't put in the same energy. I didn't put in the same effort as they did. So I'd rather look like a fool than be a fool. So what I mean by that is if, you know, when I'm climbing to the top, climbing that mountain, it's not easy. You know, falling on my ass, looking like an idiot, trying to be great. I get it. I'm prepared for that. I'm prepared to look stupid and foolish. But... I just look stupid, you know? At the end of the day, I'm still trying. I'm still trying to achieve. I'm still trying to be great. You know, you have to try to be great to actually become great. It won't fall into your lap, you know? But if you don't even try because you're afraid of what other people are gonna think of you, or how other people will perceive you, they think you're cocky, condescending, whatever it is, I think that's actually being a fool, you know? And I'd rather look like a fool than be one. Kim Law, shit happens. Peace. Another day, another five star review for Kim Law. Downtown traffic report, Atlanta. It's fucked. Oh shit, new package. What do we got? Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Off white Nike shorts. Man, Virgil is just killing the game right now. Soccer shorts. The compression shorts. Man, yeah, I really love what Virgil's doing these days. God, I love soccer gear. Love these. Compression shorts too, the checks. Damn. Beautiful. So you wanna have a kid, right? Hey, mommy. Hi, Hi, How was your day at work? It was great. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> What did you do today? Went to work. And? Made some dollars. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. 